let's just start, uh, Senator, with uh, your appraisal of, of what we've seen in the past week and what it means. FTX's bankruptcy is the 10th largest in U.S. history. Uh, we've been functioning in the wild west of cryptocurrency, unregulated, and it's time for us to address regulation. Uh, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand of New York and I have the Lummis Gillibrand bill, which, if it were in effect, would have prevented the activities of FTX and would have saved customers a lot of money uh, because uh, it would have required the segregation of customer assets from non-customer assets and required 100 percent backing of customer assets. So if there are a million creditors, uh, there would be a million less unhappy people this week if Lamas Gillibrand had been in effect. You would have, have thought maybe that something like that would have already there would have been a framework already in place that, uh, that w would have done that. And, and give me three or four other things that, sh that we could do right now and that we should do in a bipartisan way. And, and why aren't we? Kirsten Gillibrand and I have been talking to both regulators and the regulated community uh, for almost a full year now, floating our draft, getting ideas, uh, and getting them incorporated into our bill. That bill is now in the Senate Finance Committee. It's big and it's comprehensive. So next steps are uh, to uh, get that bill moving, or at least get the priority concepts in that bill moving in various Senate committees. I think it's going to happen in 2023. So to suggest that we could do something very quickly, very knee-jerk, very temporary, um, is not going to assist the problem. Federal regulators and investigators uh, are just going to have to plow through uh, the debris that is the FTX bankruptcy. Uh, Senator, uh, we spoke together on this broadcast on June 11th. Uh, you were with uh, Senator Gillibrand at the time. And I asked you uh, quite directly about the idea that Fidelity was allowing uh, its corporate customers to allow employees to invest in Bitcoin and whether you thought that was a good idea, given that the Labor Department thought it was a terrible idea. At the time, you thought and said it was a very good idea. Bitcoin at the time was trading at $28,406. So if you were an owner of Bitcoin that day, you had $28,000, $28,406 today you have $16,832. Do you stand by what you said on June 11th? Absolutely. Do you know how many Bitcoin FTX had when it declared bankruptcy on Friday? Zero. None. Bitcoin is unique among cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin is a commodity. The other currencies with which uh, FTX uh, was operating, especially their own proprietary FTT, this is clearly uh, a security. This should have fallen under uh, the SEC. This should be where consumer uh, protections and disclosure laws apply. This was a murky company with 130 or more uh, affiliated companies, uh, a very complicated a situation where uh, customer assets were allowed to be commingled with other assets. And because of that, customers lost their money. So you're are, are dealing you, with yeah. actually two yeah. different entities, right. commodities, which is Bitcoin, and securities, which is almost every other uh, cryptocurrency out there.